Well, good morning, everybody. This is Pastor JC coming at you live on this beautiful Tuesday morning. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. I hope that this morning finds you doing well, healthy, strong, alive, and in charge. Because we've been given authority, haven't we? Good morning, Sharon. Good to see you on here. Glad you're on today listening and joining in and uh, just uh, be blessed today. I'm so, I'm so thankful for you. I want to just real quickly remind you of what Romans chapter 8 tells us. He goes through this list of, uh, I am perplexed, I am distressed, I am all of these things. But and then he goes on to say, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through Jesus Christ, our Lord. And I just want to remind somebody this morning that you win. You win. You are a conqueror. Good morning, Tara. Good morning, Paula. Glad you all are on here. I just came on today to tell somebody, don't look at your life. Don't look at the situation surrounding you. Don't look at the things that you're going through or even the battle that you may be in right now. Don't look at all that stuff and declare defeat. You are not defeated. You are a winner. Today, you win. You are more than a conqueror through Jesus Christ who loves you. And you may be at a moment in your life where you feel like you're being conquered, like you are defeated, like you, you need to just throw in the towel. I'm, I'm here to encourage you today. Don't give up. Don't back up. Don't tap out. Don't throw in the towel. It's not time to stop. It's time to move forward in the calling and the anointing of Jesus Christ on your life. You may feel weak and tired and worn out right now, but I'll tell you what, you take the hand of Jesus and all of a sudden things are gonna be different. You're gonna understand, you're gonna know that he is right there with you. In all these things, we are more than conquerors through Jesus Christ. We don't just overcome, we are more than conquerors. That means we take the spoils of the enemy and all of those things that he had planned to, to do to us, all of those weapons he had formed against us, we not only destroy those, but we pillage the kingdom of the enemy. We take away the things that belong to the enemy. Our family members, our health, all of those things that he tried to steal, even the wealth of the enemy belongs to the righteous. We are more than conquerors. And you know, I'm speaking to myself today because we have so many hopes and dreams and visions for Crossroads. And there are times when I question, God, how are we gonna do this? How are we gonna resource all of this? Where are we gonna get the, the financial help to do everything that we wanna do? And he keeps reminding me over and over again, you are more than a conqueror through Jesus Christ. And so today I speak that into somebody's life, somebody who is about to give up, somebody who was about to tap out, don't do it, don't do it. You are a winner today through Jesus. You have the victory, you have triumph in the name of Jesus. And today I wanna to pray over you that the Holy Spirit would just strengthen you and empower you as you walk out your faith today, even in insurmountable situations, you're gonna find victory today. You're gonna to experience victory today. So let me pray for you. Lord, we thank you right now for all of your goodness. In those moments when we're going through the fire, in those moments when we are stressed out, in those moments where it seems like the enemy has the upper hand, remind us, O oh Lord, of your power and your might. Remind us of the times that you've defeated the enemy in our lives before. Call, recall to our memory, God, all of those moments that you've come through and you've brought the victory. And today, speak it into somebody's life, Father. Speak it into somebody's heart who is distressed and worn out and tired and feel like, feels like giving up. Speak into their life that they are more than a conqueror today, that through you, they win. And remind them, let that become solid in their life. Let them stand up on their feet. Let them square their shoulders. Let them experience the power of the Holy Spirit surging through their veins today. Lord, we love you and we thank you for that. And we bless you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Now you go into the world today and you walk in the power of the Holy Spirit. 
you tear down the enemy's kingdom, you kick down the doors of hell, and you claim victory for your life. I love you. I'm praying for you. God bless.